wizards, witches, and muggles, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today we are taking another first look at a brand new Harry Potter makeup collection. So many of you guys messaged me anywhere and everywhere saying, have you seen this? I had not seen it and I'd never heard of the brand before. It's called She Glam. I don't really know much about it, but I ordered it. So we could take a look at it together. We've got the full collection. So if that sounds like a good time to you, then keep on watching it. Hey, if you are brand new here, firstly, hello, welcome. Don't forget that you've clicked the subscribe button if you would like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, cause I'm actually really excited. I know the box is like open, but that was just to check what it was and who it was from. I'm really excited. Okay then, so here is the box and Okay, so it's very well protected. That's the first thing that I've noticed. <laughs> Let's open this on up. <laughs> you can see yourselves. Hello, camera. <laughs> okay, we are in. So this is the She Glam official Wizarding World and Harry Potter collaboration. I gotta say, this box that it comes in is so nice like it's soft touch here's all the information on the back but this feels luxe like this feels high quality we have an actual mirror in here and it's kind of like aged with this green splat effect and obviously you guys will recognize this if you are fans of the wizarding world and harry potter this is the have you seen this wizard poster and i actually really like this because it's really clever that when you look at it you are the wizard slash witch in the wanted poster because it's a mirror so yes this is the full collection now let's talk about price before we do unbox this this was $49.49 which was approximately 40 British pounds so that's how much this will set you back if you want the full collection from She Glam but let's open it on up this box it feels really good you guys know that I like soft soft touch things if you have been watching me for a while and ooh. Okay, let me put this to one side for a moment. Let's just talk about the actual box lid. It's matte black, but then it has this kind of gloss image effect. So we've got Wizarding World and it says Harry Potter. We've got Hogwarts, we've got stars in the sky. I mean, they've definitely not left out any detail. That's just the lid and it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's put that to one side and take a look at the actual box itself. Let's start with our very own Hogwarts acceptance letter from She Glam. Okay, so here is the letter. We've got the branding at the top, it says Hogwarts, She Glam. We've got this little golden section, which is meant to be a wax seal. And then it's got all the kind of trademarky stuff on that side with the little Hogwarts. Okay, let's open this on up and see what it has to say. Okay, so it says, Harry Potter obsessed makeup fans rejoice. Transport yourself into the famed wizarding world with all new Harry Potter inspired products that will blend seamlessly into your makeup routine. Featuring four unique eyeshadow quads inspired by the four houses of Hogwarts, four high shine lip glosses, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited about because I know that the packaging looks really cool. Inspired by our most beloved magical brews. Ooh, a magic cauldron lip mask ask what and finally a glitter lipstick this collection has everything you need for a spell binding look i'll be honest i'm very very excited because i have made sure not to look at these products in too much detail online i literally put in my cart ordered and it's arrived so we are literally looking at this all together we will talk about what else is on this sheet when we go through the products because that is like a little information card almost like a little cheat sheet let's take a look at this then so this is inside the set does this come up wait oh <gasps> get out of here it's double layered ah <laughs> okay let's start with the top layer shall we let's start with whatever this is in here because it's the cauldron item Okay then, so item number one, this is the She Glam Magic Cauldron Lip Mask. Again, the packaging, very soft touch, beautifully done. <coughs> Sorry. 
the golden cauldron on the side. We've got all the ingredients. Here it says, as a budding witch or wizard, you'll want to bring this magic cauldron everywhere you go. Our magic cauldron lip mask features a light lavender color that applies transparent on the lips for a gloss like sheen. Plus this special brews ultra hydrating meadow foam seed oil formula nourishes lips over time with continued use. Don't you just love magic? That's pretty cool. Let's open this on up then. So far, the packaging and the presentation of everything is, it's giving me life. It's impressing me. Okay, so this is, oh, this is looking kind of cute. Okay, first things first, we have this tiny little magical spatula, which I'm guessing we take the lip mask out with. It's just like this little plastic spoon. <laughs> kind of reminds me of those little plastic spoons that you get with little tiny tubs of ice cream, but a little bit smaller. And then we have, oh, oh that's so cute. I wish you could see, like, I don't know if you can see the light shining through this, but it's kind of like a purple, almost a translucent, cauldron at the bottom we've got a lid ah okay let's open this okay so it's a screw lid which is nice Ooh. so this is the lip mask I'm gonna give it a sniff test doesn't really smell of anything I don't think it's meant to be perfumed which is a shame because you guys know that I like nice smells but I also know that when it comes to beauty products things fragrance and that kind of thing aren't always the best especially for people with sensitive skin and that kind of thing but yes there's a little pattern around the bottom of this which you could just about see it is quite cute let's use some okay I'm not I'm just gonna do this on the back of my hand because I do have lip product on today so We've scooped a little bit of the mask and they said it is purple, but it applies transparent, which indeed it does. There you go. There is the transparent lip mask, which I'm guessing you leave on for a little while. I am big into moisturizing and like SPF and lip care because I have quite big lips or so I've been told over the years and I am constantly needing to hydrate them all the time so I'm really looking forward to using this and seeing what effects it has but as an item I think that's really cute and I like that it's a little cauldron you have like your little spatula with it as well that is the first product and i think it's a really cute start and i cannot wait to see what else is inside this makeup collection okay next i have no idea what this is okay this is a gifted herbologist glitter lipstick and there is a tiny little mandrake you guys know how i feel about herbology oh yeah, let's see what this says. So on the side, it says, it's greenhouse three today, students. Get ready for an excited lesson in herbology class and look the part whilst repotting those mandrakes with this glitter lipstick. This lippy applies smoothly onto your lips for a glassy black finish with micro glitter flecks. <sighs> this sounds really good. It features an ultra hydrating formula and an easy to use bullet applicator for a beautiful magical plant inspired look. Okay, I'm ready to plant my mandrakes. And again, with the packaging, all soft touch, really nice. Let's get into this lipstick then. I loved the sound of a glassy black finish. I'm wondering if it's going to be similar to, you know, the Clinique Black Honey lipstick that was going a little bit viral online not so long ago and it makes your lips like the perfect shade. Oh, I really enjoy that. And that's meant to be the kind of glossy black finish. Ooh, are you seeing this? Okay, this, let's talk about the packaging. Firstly, we've got ourselves some mandrakes on here. We've got what I'm assuming to be, I'm not actually sure. I think it's just a lot of plant things. Those aren't, initially I was like, are those dirigible plums? I don't think they're meant to be, but yeah, there is a lot of herbology things, lots of mandrakes, lots of roots and leaves on there. We have the Harry Potter and Wizarding World on the bottom and She Glam to show that it's their collaboration in gold. And then a little sticker on the end. Let's open this one up then. <gasps> okay. What? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to look like 
like that. That is gorgeous. I don't want to swatch it, it's that beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. I'm kind of gobsmacked. That is beautiful. Okay, not scented. That seems to be a theme with this collection, though I do like a lipstick scent. Okay, so we do still have a bit of the mask on my hand right there, so I'm just going to rub that in just so it <laughs> disappears. Okay, fresh hand. Let's give this a little swatch then. Obviously, I'm not swatching this on my lips because I have product on, but oh my god, look at that. Um, that's lovely. Ooh, yes, I think that is going to do the whole your lips but better but with a really sheeny, the glitter definitely translates when you apply it. It's very pretty but truly something that beautiful makes you not want to swatch it but could you imagine you're just out with your friends and you're like let me get my lip balm out and you whip out this, like how magical does that look? It's certainly an eye-catching product. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And at first I thought the glitter may just have been on the outside, but it's not. It's actually in the product itself and it definitely does come across when applying. What do you guys think? I'm intrigued to see what that would look like on a lip. Well, I'm very excited to wear that. Very nice, very interesting. And again, the packaging, 10 out of 10. All right, it's time for some Hogwarts house goodness. This is really cool. Um, hello, we can sort ourselves. Okay, let me just quickly spin around. Uh, Hufflepuff, of course I am. I'm actually Gryffindor, but that would be my second house. I love that they've given us sort of like a little sorting hat spinner. That is very satisfying. Hufflepuff again, fine. I'll be a Hufflepuff for today. So this is the Hogwarts School on Witchcraft and Wizardry She Glam Hogwarts House Palette Set. Okay, is this going to be like one giant palette or let's open it on up. Oh, it's got some like fancy translucent Hogwarts. This is beautiful tissue. <gasps> Whoa, there's four palettes. These are like a faux leather and there's like these metal detailings in all of them. Like this isn't print, this is actual metal on all the corners. Okay, okay, let's um, <laughs> let's start with my house. In fact, no, let's start with Hufflepuff because that's apparently what I am today. I'm gonna set these to one side and then let's take a little look at them okay so this is hufflepuff's eyeshadow palette i've got to say the actual eyeshadow palette is really lovely again it feels pretty high end uh this is the hufflepuff house palette add a little bit of magic to your beauty collection inspired by the yellow and black colors of hufflepuff house this palette features creamy pigmented mattes foiled sparkly shades for a truly magical look paint your lids with this house's main characteristics for a look that will gain you some house points or use them as a perfect enchanting compliment to your existing beauty routine okay i'm so excited to open this. So let's just get to it, shall we? Ooh. Ooh, look, they've even got like this beautiful Hufflepuff text in gold, but these are the quad shades for Hufflepuff. Let's just take a look at all of these. So we have this one here, which is a very light terracotta shade, which is called Trustworthy. We've got this beautiful gold, which is hard work. We've got a badger on this kind of darker orange. It says humility. And then we have a kind of chocolate brown, which says patience. So that's really nice. There's, these have all of the Hogwarts house traits. Let's get swatching. I think the first one that I'm most excited to swatch is the one called hard work because it is one of their glittery ones. So I'm just gonna swatch over here. Oh yes, we like a shiny glitter. <laughs> That's really lovely. Oh, they do feel really nice actually to apply. Look at that. Yes, they have come through for Hufflepuff. That is a lovely, lovely eyeshadow shade. 
Next up, I'm going to be swatching this shade Patience, which is more of a matte shade. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, that one is pretty easy to smoke out as well, even with just a finger. Like, I could imagine these would apply quite nicely with brushes as well. I love that warm brown. Next up, we have Humility over here, which is kind of orange. It's a shame to swatch this one because it does have the badger that is kind of embossed into this, so I'm going to be quite gentle. Sorry, badger. Oh. Okay, so this is more of a kind of pumpkin orange. Swatch that. Ooh. That's really nice. These are so soft. That's a lovely shade. What I quite like about the Hufflepuff one is that they have curated shades that are quite wearable. I don't think many people are going to be wearing bright yellow eyeshadow, but that's just my personal opinion. Let's swatch the final Hufflepuff shade, which is called Trustworthy. It's kind of like a light creamy terracotta. Might be my least favorite of the four. There you go. So that is trustworthy. What do you guys think of Hufflepuff's shades? I think they're really nice. They go together very well as a quad. I'm very excited about the three other houses that we're yet to discover. Next up, of course, we are going to be taking a look at Gryffindor. Again, this beautiful faux leather with the kind of brassy detailings. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the back of the Gryffindor palette. It's pretty much the same text on all of them, except they change the colours and say that it's for Gryffindor House. So we won't need to read that again. Let's get straight on into the swatching and the exciting bit. Wow. Okay, we've got some Gryffindor red metallic text up here. Stunning. And these are the four shades for Gryffindor. So we have got a shade called Daring. We've got another sparkly one, which is Bravery. We've got Courage here, which is a matte, but it does have some luster in there. And then we have Determination with the line on, which is a kind of deep blood red. So I think I am actually going to start with that beautiful blood red color. I think that's really pretty. And reds are hit and miss when it comes to eyeshadows. Here it is on my finger. Let's have a little swatch. Ooh, that's a really nice soft. It almost matches my sleeve, which is orange. It's a little bit redder than that. But yes, that would smoke out really nicely. Ooh, yes. Go, go, Gryffindor. Let's go for Courage next, which is this kind of brown, but it does have, oh, you can see the more I kind of swatch it, that it's got gold luster flecks that are just, can you see? Oh, it's really pretty in the light. So let's give that a swatch. Ooh, this one feels really nice. Yeah, the gold does translate. Hopefully the camera's picking it up, but you can see those really pretty, subtle golden flecks that catch in the light. Really like this palette. This is very, very nice. And the one that I know a lot of you are waiting for, let's move on to the glitter shade, which is Bravery. This one seems to be quite a chunky glitter. Ooh, that is like the golden egg from the Goblet of Fire or a golden snitch. That is, oh yes, that gives me my excited kind of makeup feeling inside that makes me want to play with makeup all day long. That's beautiful. That might be the best shimmer so far, but I'm sure we have one in Slytherin and Ravenclaw to come too. Look at that. It's so reflective. It's absolutely gorgeous so pretty. Let's do the final shade here then, which is Daring, which is this kind of light, pale, terracotta-y colour. It's kind of like a cream. What would we describe this colour as? Sort of a, yeah, like a creamy brick colour or something? Or a creamy peach? Ooh. I mean, those as a quad 
just sit really nicely. This you could use very well as a transition shade. I actually use these kind of colours a lot when doing my makeup, so this would be a pretty good palette, of travel palette, if I'm going away to take with me. This is really, really pretty. So there you go for all of my fellow Gryffindors. That is our palette. Let's move on to Slytherin. Here's for all of my Slytherins. We have got the Slytherin Quad Eyeshadow Palette. And this time we have got some silver metal detailing. I don't know if it's actually metal or it feels like it is. It could be some sort of plastic maybe, but it looks like metal and I think it's really attractive. And yeah, they've done such a good job. Let's open this one up then. Oh, ooh. Oh, to be a Slytherin. I love the house colours for Slytherin and I just think they're beautiful. Same for Ravenclaw, actually. I think the aesthetics of both of those houses are probably my favourite out of the four. Let's watch these then. So we have got four shades. We've got Ambition, Cunning, Leadership and Destiny with a little serpent on there as well. Okay, I mean, I have to swatch this one first. This shade is Cunning and it is a chunky metallic green colour. Okay, this one's giving me hope. I have no words. It's so pretty. This is what I'm saying. Slytherin. Oh, yes. Okay, let's give it a swatch then. Oh, that's the best shade so far, isn't it? Oh, wow, wow, wow. That is a show stopper. That. Woo! Oh, I wish I was wearing that today. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> and whilst we're there, we may as well do the other glitter shade, which is Ambition. And I tell you what, if this is as pigmented as that one, which it will be because chunky glitters tend to be pretty amazing when it comes to eyeshadows. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> yes, okay. Ooh. Yes, I mean, they definitely know how to do their metallics, that's for sure. Those two together, if you were having like a Slytherin Pride Day, that is what you should be wearing because that is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's move on to the two matte shades of this palette. And let's start with Leadership, which is this kind of musky, mossy brown colour, almost like a mocha colour. Now, these won't be as pigmented as those stunning glitters. Those are definitely the, um, the show stoppers of this palette. I mean, this is still a lovely colour. That is nice and they do blend really well just with a few little swipes you can tell that they kind of smoke out real good but the black will be where it kind of tells all because I've always thought that blacks are quite difficult to get right in eyeshadows but I mean that's pretty hopeful it doesn't look too like translucent you know what I mean it's got the pigment but will it when we actually swatch let's take that down drag oh that is a good black eyeshadow like that is excuse my messy swatching but that's really dark that's beautiful oh i think i might need to be slytherin for this video because that is my favorite palette and we still have ravenclaw to go here it is beautiful and can we just have a round of applause please they've used the correct ravenclaw colors they have used blue and bronze. They have not used silver. This is really nice, and I love that they have got the correct color palette. So let's open Ravenclaw. Oh, look at those. Okay, so we have wisdom, curiosity, wit, and creativity. I'm gonna start with the matte creativity shade. This is the matte, kind. it's kind of like a teal. It's not quite navy blue. It's, it's almost a teal, but it's really nice, so let's get swatching and can we also talk about the fact that they have used an eagle which is also correct ravenclaw's mascot is an eagle not a raven which is often confused but they've got everything right like the lore of this these kind of makeup collection palettes and everything it's it's there oh this is very pretty this is a very me color i must say so let's swatch that here Ooh. Yeah, that's really lovely. Just gonna add a little bit more. 
just layer it up a little bit. I mean, that's a very wearable, just look a little bit more navy on camera, but it's definitely more of a turquoise blue than it is a sea blue. Next up, I think I'm curious about this shade, Curiosity. It's another beautiful, chunky glitter. This is giving like ice queen. Oh, yes, okay. So metallic. It's so chunky and very smooth. Oh. It's just so silver. I'm surprised that they got the packaging correct with the colors, but then they went with the silver inside. But I guess they kind of have added a almost bronzy brown, but it would have been nice to see a bronze metallic in there, I think. We have got shade Wisdom next, which is a kind of creamy color again. There we have it. Ooh. You can't quite see it on my skin color because it's very close to what my skin color is, but that is a really nice shade. And last, but certainly not least, let's swatch Wit, which again, I'm quite excited about because it's another chunky glitter. I don't think I'm ready for this. Mm. <laughs> Wowzer, that's so pretty. Okay, swatch time. I've got to do it over my knuckles. I mean, it's certainly, I mean, wow. It speaks for itself. Look at those metallics, so gorgeous. Are my Ravenclaws happy with this? I would be, they're really, really pretty. What a lovely palette collection. These are all four of the Hogwarts eyeshadow quad palettes from the She Glam collection. And I've got to say, I was impressed for the price of this collection and we still haven't seen everything yet. These were pigmented. These felt high quality. They were really well thought out. The design is there, like the lids of these are so pretty and someone there definitely knows Harry Potter because this is bronze and blue. So yes, those are the eyeshadows. I am not disappointed. I'm actually really impressed. So we have looked at everything in the top of this collection, which will bring us to the final layer of this makeup collection. So I'm gonna start off with the brush. Now years ago, I think I may have done a video on it, there was a company called Storybook Cosmetics and they came out with an entire collection of wand makeup brushes. And these are giving a very similar vibe. It does have this beautiful wand handle. It doesn't seem to be any wand in particular, like a character wand. It seems to be one that they've just designed for themselves. And then down here we have got uh, the She Glam kind of logo and some trademark stuff. The brush itself, it does feel quite good. Here are the bristles. It's definitely soft. I think it would make quite a good kind of buffing brush. I'm not sure if it would be good for some of the chunky glitters, but I think it's really sweet that they have included a brush in this collection. The thing that I'm perhaps most excited about is what is inside of this potions book. This says potions classes, the subtle science and exact art. Uh, she glam down here. And this is a bewitching bruise lip gloss set. Okay, so there are four in here as well. And I have seen what these look like. I haven't seen them in too much detail. I haven't opened this, but I think it's gonna be really exciting. This is the spine of the quote unquote book. And yeah, it's just got the lip gloss Set. It's got some cute little potions down here. And then we have got the back of the set. And I will just read this out for you. Level up your beauty game and your potion making skills with this collection of bewitching brews. Inspired by Libertas Borage's advanced potion making textbook, this new to level course book contains four gorgeous potion bottle lip glosses inspired by some of our favorite brews in the wizarding world. <gasps> Felix Felicis, Polyjuice Potion, Amortentia and the draft of living death. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's open this up. Okay, right, let's go. I've got to shut it again. I'm too overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> oh my God. They really did save the best till last in this collection by having it hidden. This is stunning. 
I don't know where to start. Oh, okay, we've got our four potions over here. So here we have the Bewitching Bruise Lip Gloss Set. This might be the coolest piece of Harry Potter merch, like in a collaboration that I've ever seen. This is really cool. Let's have a little read down here then. So yes, we have got the four potions. I love that they've even got like handwriting on there from like the Half-Blood Prince. We've just read this out, so I'm not gonna read it again. I love that there's tassels on there. And just look at how these are displayed. <sighs> Firstly, let's take a read of what potions we are going to be revealing. Okay, so we've got the love potion, which is Amortentia, and this says caution. This gloss will cause a powerful infatuation or even obsession for anyone who wears it. It's inspired by the Amortentia potion. This high shine gloss features Physalis fruit extract for an especially nourishing brew. Okay. Let's take a look at that one before we read the rest. Let's do one at a time. So this is the Amaltentia Lip Gloss. Oh my God. Again, imagine whipping this out of your handbag. I just can't. Okay, these are beautiful. I really hope these have some sort of scent because the rest of it didn't, but I do like a scent in my lip glosses, but we'll see. I think they're very beautiful visually. So this is the Magic Elixir Lip Gloss by She Glam. Let's open it on up. So this is a twist. Okay, let's, I mean, firstly, beautiful. What is this doe foot applicator? Oh, <gasps> it's silicon. I've never seen an applicator like this. Normally you have a sort of foamy doe foot, but yeah, this looks like it's plastic, but it's not, it's actually silicone. Please excuse any of the kind of blue. I'm just gonna swatch this here. That's a really nice applicator. It's a really soft silicone. So that's the first one. It's a clear with a hint of pink lip gloss disappointingly this doesn't have a scent i think if that smelt like peppermint or maybe not cut grass but something really nice that a lot of people like because amaltentia smells like some of your favorite scents of course to the the maker of the potion and that kind of thing that's really nice though i think it's a really nice applicator i think it's presented well and if you want a little bit of pink lip gloss on the go, these would look so cute in a handbag. And to be fair, they'd look cute on a potion shelf as well. Okay, so that's the first potion. Next up, it is Felix Felicis. And this says, everything you attempt will be deemed successful with our sparkling Felix Felicis gloss on your lips. This gloss is specially brewed with thyme extract to nourish your lips with a spell binding shine okay so if you want a little bit of luck for your day put this in your bag and wear it and then you'll be lucky all day wow that is so glittery that really does look like felix felicis again i think they're all gonna have the same applicators they do look at that that's just so cool this is good oh can you see all of the shine in that i mean that would just look beautiful I think that would look really eye-catching over a lipstick or even on its own because you can see all of those gold oh i think i would feel very lucky wearing this it's i think that's probably going to be one of my favorites just because it is so shiny and gold and we love a bit of liquid luck Next is the Polyjuice Potion, and it says, although you might not be able to assume the form of another person, our Polyjuice Potion inspired sparkling lip gloss adds the perfect dash of glitter to your glam. Contained with millet seed extract, this gloss moisturizes your lips with every use. Okay, so this is Polyjuice Potion. Let's take it out. Love the color of this one. It's kind of got a Oh, it's got also, it's almost got multi-chrome or multi-shift kind of glitter in there because it's a little bit pink, it's a little bit yellow, and it's a little bit green. Yes, this is the Polyjuice Potion. I mean, how cute are these? I think they've done, I mean, we'll talk about the collection as a whole, but I think these are really, really nicely done. They're very well executed. Okay, let's open up a Polyjuice Potion. Hopefully I won't turn into a cat. Uh, I haven't got a cat around, so cat hair shouldn't have got into my apologies potion let's just swatch that here again it's got a really nice green shifty glitter in there 
it's very pretty hopefully the camera picks it up but in person it's got a really beautiful nicely evenly spread out glitter in that gloss so nice these almost feel too nice to use. Next up, we have got the Draft of Living Death Potion, and it says, inspired by the Draft of Living Death, this high shine lip gloss is simple but powerful. Contained with lavender extract, our Draft of Living Death gloss features a sweet floral aroma and a soothing formula for bewitching glassy pout. Okay, so this is saying that it has a floral aroma. I might have to sniff the others because I only did one sniff test. But this is the Draft of Living Death. This is a stunning colour. It's a really pretty purple, translucent, very nice. Let's do a sniff test first because I'm very curious. Mmm. I'm not, I'm not smelling much. Let's swatch this one. I know they're lip glosses and for the most part, most of them are just going to be quite clear. But there is a purple sheen on there. I can't smell any sort of aroma, so I'm gonna disagree with that description. But here is the Draft of Living Death gloss. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that back in there. Honestly, these are stunning, and I would have snatched these off a shelf in a shop had I have seen them on a shelf. They're so fun. And as a fan of Harry Potter, they're just so well executed. I think the colours of the glosses are spot on. I love the descriptions. I love the actual units that these glosses are in. The applicators are nice. And I think they're quite subtle. They may not look subtle in their bottles colour wise, but when they're applied, as you've seen, for the most part, they're translucent, so they're very wearable. Let's take a look at this full collection from She Glam. Okay, so this is the full collection from She Glam in collaboration with the Wizarding World Harry Potter. Let's talk about my overall thoughts on this. I think this collection was so well executed that I think it might be the, one of the best Harry Potter makeup collections that I have seen and I have reviewed a few of them on this channel. If you type in Harry Potter makeup you'll probably find some of them. This has been my favourite to date and I think the value for money here is pretty good. The fact that you get for eyeshadow palettes you get a really like impressive looking lip gloss, the glittery one, the herbologist one. You get a lip mask, you get four of these stunning lip glosses, which are so fun. Like the creative teams that have been behind this have done such a good job. And just the packaging in general, the fact that the full collection comes in a really nice high quality box that feels good. It's got a mirror on it and it's kind of like a little playful design because of that mirror and the poster and everything. I do recommend this collection. I think it's a really nice one. I think it's very well done and it's got me excited about wearing all of this stuff. Let me know what you guys think because as per usual it is not just about my thoughts, it is about your opinions and what you like and I want to hear them. So leave a comment down below. Is this a collection that has caught your eye? Is it something you're interested in getting? What was your favourite item from the collection? Sound off down below. I'll be sure to reply to some of those but as per usual thank you very much for watching. If you did get the this far in the video and you enjoyed it please do give it a magical thumbs up and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching guys i will see you soon bye that is so pretty oh. it looks like it's been 3d printed it's insane